All right. Good morning, everybody out there in the Facebook world. As you can see, we are all in our PJs. Yep. Yep. It's a PJ party. Oops. And Mikey is passed out. He's, a, he's asleep. It's a PJ party. Um, we hope that you're still in your PJs too. You could be watching this from your bed, your couch, or wherever you are. And uh, if you want to post pictures later of you watching this um, in your PJs, feel free and post them on the feed. I think it would be fun to do. We might do, um, we might do a little giveaway for that, come to think of it. When this is done, because you can't post pictures during the thing, when this is done, if you post a picture on this feed, on the comments of you watching this in your PJs, you will be entered to win a prize. I just added another prize. I don't have it yet, but I will find one. Well, actually, we have six prizes today anyway. We have a lot of giveaways, a lot. So let's get started. My name is Susie. I'm the owner of LV Craft Shows, and I'm wearing also some earrings that are star and moon to set the mood of the PJ party. And today we have some amazing crafts here. It's all crafts so and gifts and great stuff. And not to forget, we will be at GBR next week on Sunday from 10 to 5. Please go to the event page or to lvcraftshows.com under the event there and register your tickets. We're actually required to do this by um, the DIR because LV Craft Shows is considered a, a larger gathering. So we have to make sure that everybody is registered. So if you please would do that, we would gladly appreciate that. Good, having said that, we have some um, giveaways, as I mentioned. So your first assignment is type in the feed, look, comma, it's a PJ party and then tag a friend, do that little at sign and type in the name of a friend. And you can do that as many times as you want. So you type in, look, comma, it's a PJ party, and you tag your friend. That will be the entry for your first giveaway. And we have quite a few. We posted pictures earlier. One picture is missing, but we posted pictures earlier. So there's some great giveaways. Having said that, we also have a, going to change the view here, special guest with us. And that would be Mr. Santa. Oh. Ho, ho, it's Santa. I'm live at the North Pole. You know, everybody has a mother. Even Santa's got a mother. And we're having a Mother's Day tea party. And we're doing that with collaboration with Tea Life, with Amy Hernandez and her group. They have made teas for Santa and Mrs. Claus and Elfie. So there's a Mrs. Claus tea and an Elfie tea. And they'll each come with honey sticks. And we greatly appreciate the collaboration with doing tea life with Amy. It's good. It's working out to be a wonderful event. We have a few postings left. We are going to be doing um, tea parties with Mrs. Claus and Elfie every Saturday and Sunday from 11 a.m. Pacific time, which makes it 2 p.m. Eastern time and the same on Sunday. And on the West Coast, we'll be doing it at 2 p.m. Pacific time, which will make it our time for tea time. Because tea time is always at two o'clock. Tea and crumpets in, in London or tea and, and, and um, uh, beef jerky in Texas or tea and toast in Sacramento. So we will be showing you our, our post now to show you where you can go to get your specific, isn't that nice? Um, with your specific times. And there it is. It's Mother's Day Mommy and Me Tea Party. My phone number and our website, santa01.com forward slash Mother's Day dash tea dash virtual visit. You go to santa01.com and you'll be able to find virtual visits. The very first visit is obviously Mother's Day tea. Click on that and you can book a tea time with us anytime between now and Mother's Day or even a day or two after Mother's Day. But we are very, very thankful to Amy and her group for putting together our, our uh, Mrs. Claus tea and the um, Elfie tea for the children. So I want to thank her very much for doing this with us. 
We'll be doing more collaborations with her and other events. Thank you very much. It's Santa live at the North Pole. Ho, ho, happy Mother's Day. I totally love the Mother's Day tea party idea. And thank you so much for joining us from the North Pole. How um, awesome is that? We always love having Santa at our show. And I'm sure that Santa will chime in in between vendors as well. Um, I forgot to mention two things. Please, in order to um, increase your chances of winning, like this po this, this um, show, this virtual show today, give us a heart or a like. In addition, we had another donation for a really amazing prize. And we decided if we hit 50 likes, five zero, if we hit 50 likes today, everybody that likes us, we can click on that, we can see who likes us. Everybody that likes, uh, likes the, today's show will be entered to win that prize. If we don't hit the 50 uh, likes, then we will uh, move that prize to another show. So get those likes, get your friends to join us and likes, have your family like us, like this post so that we hit 50 likes and you will be entered to win a really, really cool prize. And uh, again, your first assignment was to type in look, comma, it's a PJ party and tag your friend. That will be for another prize. And then after the next presentation, I will do the next giveaway. We have a lot of giveaways today, so let's get going. Um, Kevin. We missed you. Welcome back to the PJ party. Well, since I don't wear pajamas at night, I'm here in my t-shirt and my, my shorts, and I don't want to scare you, so I have to be here in my t-shirt and shorts. Anyway, here's my information. I'm Kevin from Lucy Stores. You can take a snapshot of that. And I'm not going to sell you anything today. I'm actually going to go through what my wife does every night when before she goes to bed. Okay, so first off, she takes a shower, which is great because I don't want her stinking in bed. And she starts out with our cold processed soap. This happens to be our frost, frost nipper soap that is seasonal, and we will have these at the show. She takes this and she puts it on her loofah and she lathers up, rub a dub dub, treatment and tub, and all that good stuff, and she cleans her body. After she rinses off, she goes to the next step. Now, the next step is either a sugar scrub, and this one happens to be lilac, or if she needs more exfoliation, our coffee scrub. And this one is caramel cappuccino. So she uses one of those and she applies it all to her body, never on the face because the older you get, the more likely it is to have abrasions and also tears in the skin if you use a scrub on your face. So she uses that and she exfoliates and then she rinses that off and then she goes on to step three. Step three is our botanical based facial cleanser. Now it's like Noxzema, it has consistency of Noxzema, but there's no harsh chemicals in it. We use things like burdock root and lavender and things of that nature. So she takes this and she applies it to her face in circular motions. So it's like this. Then after she's done with that and she rinses off, she goes to step number four. Step number four is shampooing her hair. She uses our solid shampoo bar and after that, our solid conditioner bar. Now, there's several ways of using this. I personally, when I use it, I just take the bar and I rub it all over my hair, what I have left, and I rinse it off. Same way with the conditioner bar. Conditioner bar, of course, you have to leave on your hair for two to three minutes and then rinse that off. She, on the other hand, has to be a little bit more glamorous and she lathers it up in her hands and then she rubs it through her hair and then rinses it off and then does the same thing with the um, conditioner bar. Now our conditioner bars, shampoo bars will last about 50 uses. After that's done, she gets out of the shower and dries off. She goes into the main part of the bathroom and she applies Lucy's facial oil. Now the facial oil will actually nourish your skin. It, it, it uh, actually reduces pores, can helps with zits and things of that nature. So when she's done with the facial oil, she goes on to moisturizing her body, either with our hand and body lotion, 
which is a lighter lotion or our body butter, which is a heavier topical cream. So she does that and then she brushes her teeth and she comes to bed and the last thing she does is applies our foot and heel bomb. Now, if you don't know my wife, my wife works for the TSA at McCarran Airport and she's on her feet anywhere from eight to 12 hours a day. So her feet are kind of gnarly and this definitely helps the feet. So that is the way she ends every night before she goes to bed and when she enters the bed. So with that, Susie, back to you after I show this good stuff. Oops, there you go. So how long does the, all that she does take? About 30 to 40 minutes. And she does that every night? Every single night. And what about you? Oh man, I'm in and out in the shower in 10 minutes in the morning. I'm a morning person. Yeah, I'm a morning showerer too. Oh, I, I think it's amazing. And um, I also love the, the um, shampoo bars. It's great because uh, you save the environment no plastic right. bottles and stuff like that so and great for traveling actually, too what's that they're great for traveling that's true very easy for travel uh, yeah because nothing will oh yeah with nothing will spill in the airplane while you're traveling and things oh yeah absolutely no they are becoming more and more popular and you guys know lucy's is amazing and they have a ton of amazing flavors my current favorite is jamaica me crazy but i also like the pina colada That's what helen does huh helen, helen drives me crazy every day <laughs> i also like pina colada hawaiian sunshine and uh, any berry and citrus flavors so Great, great to have you back. And you will be at GBR on Sunday, correct? I will, and all this stuff will be available at the show. Awesome, wonderful. And then whoever wins the prize, your prize that you're donating that we'll talk about in the second round can come and pick it up at GBR. Correct. Awesome, all right, let's move on to our next, oh, giveaway first, next giveaway first. For the next giveaway, I had, uh, by the way, I just typed in, not to forget at the end of the show to post a picture of you watching us. So make sure you have somebody watch you, watch us, or take a photo of you watching us. So you will be entered to win a prize for that as well. So after Lucy's, we're going into um, the next giveaway and that will be something very special. And because that will be Santa's tea party. Yes, you can win the tea party. So all you need to type into the feed is one time per person, please. I'd like to do a tea party with Santa. I'd like to do a tea party with Santa. Type that into the feed and you will be entered to win that. And while you guys type that in, we will bring the second party of that tea party in, and that's Amy. Hi, everybody. I am Amy Hernandez with Get to Steeping. And yes, I am the second part of the tea party. Um, I will actually show you what you will be getting because I'll be shipping those out uh, once you book the party um, during this presentation. So in case you don't know who we are, we are Get to Steepin. We pretty much uh, specialize mostly in organic wellness teas. We have about 45 different blends and we're always uh, creating new ones. I actually started a new one just yesterday from the Green Valley show. There was somebody that asked for something specific. So we do have that available and I'll put it on the website a little bit later. So I'm gonna start going into some of the teas. And then, like I said, I'll show you the Santa one. And then we have dream pillows, a special for today for this uh, fun PJ party. So one of the first teas that I'm gonna to show today is our allergy tea. Especially with the super windy uh, weather that we've been having in Las Vegas. Um, it has mule and leaf, it has nettle, marshmallow root, elderflower, um, and thyme which all help like if you do get phlegm and so forth for allergies, um, mulein's really good for that. So this is our allergy relief. All of these can be found on our website. 
We also um, are going to start doing more in-person events, which I'm super excited about. Um, we were at Green Valley, which was super fun. Um, the next tea that I have is the Why Did I Come in the Room tea. So this tea is really good for cognitive memory. It has different herbs in here, like go to cola. It has rosemary, which is really good for memory. It has peppermint, sage, and ginkgo. So this is our why did I come in the room tea. The next tea that we have, um, in addition to the wellness teas, we had requests to just have some traditional teas. This specific one is just an Earl Grey with lavender. Um, a lot of you might know it as like a London fog. They add a little bit of milk and uh, vanilla and you have yourself a nice little latte. The next one is the Cocoa mint tea. So this is kind of like an Andes mint. It's a healthier version. It has red rubose tea, which has no caffeine in it, has peppermint and cocoa nibs. So this is our cocoa mint tea. Very good like after dessert tea or maybe the kids want to share a, a cup of tea with you. Um, this is a really good option because it has no caffeine. The next one, uh, we've been getting a lot more orders and um, Kevin had actually just mentioned about burdock root and this is in our skin detox tea. So this tea is kind of formulated to, um, it's like healthy to for complexion and so forth. But after, if you actually get like tea bags, after you steep the tea, you could actually put it on your face um, because of the rose and um, like I said, the burdock root, there's green tea, hibiscus, rose petals, uh, red clover. They're really good moisturizers and they do help clear the skin. So this is our skin detox tea and it's really pretty. And this would be awesome for Mother's Day. So if you're still looking for a gift, that's a really good option. So maybe you do a skin detox and cocoa mint. And then you could get some chocolate a little bit later. Uh, the next one is the immune booster. This is pretty much our most popular one. This is the one I drink every single morning. It has echinacea, it has nettle, elderflower, orange pill, uh, rose hips, which have as much vitamin C as like an orange, it has hibiscus, so it gives us a little bit of a tardiness. Um, and this is our immune booster. The next one to kind of go with the pajama theme is our stress relief. So this particular one, you know, you come home from a long day or, you know, you're just waking up on a Sunday, you just want to relax, um, but it doesn't have the sedative herbs that our good night tea does. So it just kind of just relaxes you. Um, it has lavender, lemon balm, chamomile, and holy basil. So this is our stress relief. So the tea I just mentioned is our good night tea. So if you're the type of person that kind of, you know, you're able to fall asleep, but maybe not stay asleep, this is a really good blend for you. Um, it's called a night tea with a K for the Vegas School of the Nights, if you guys are fans. Um, and it has chamomile, peppermint, lemon balm, passion flower, which is one of the sedative herbs in this one, valerian and catnip, which if you guys have seen this on the show before, the funny thing about catnip for people actually has a sedative as versus with a cat makes them all crazy. So this is our good night tea. If you're just waking up, we do have a energy boost tea as well. It does have caffeine in it. Most of our teas do not because they are herbal blends, but this one, you know, we wanted, people wanted a healthy alternative for um, the extra cup of coffee or those energy drinks, which are totally awful. Um, this has Herba Mate, which has been marketing a lot more uh, lately. It has gunpowder green tea, it has nettle, has oat straw, and licorice root. That's our energy boost tea. tea. That I was just talking about that we just added. I think it's missing now. Okay, so we'll skip over that one for now, but this is our skinny mini tea. So summer is coming along. So we do have a healthy version um, tea that is more of a metabolism booster. It has um, cinnamon, it has an herba mate that I just talked about in the last tea. It has nettle, dandelion leaf, alfalfa, 
cinnamon, and ginger. So this is our skinny mini. It's not a detox tea. Like a lot of the ones that are on the market are more of a detox. This just helps get your metabolism going. So that's just some of the different blends that we have. Santa was just on um, about the tea party and I just kind of wanted to show you what you actually would get. So you get the Mrs. Claus tea right here. You get a little Elfie tea. You also do get the honey sticks that come along with it. And I found these really cute Christmas little bags. So we'll be putting the teas inside there for you. Um, the other thing I did mention is that we are doing um, a dream pillow special today. So these are herbal dream pillows. You basically put them next to your bed at night. They act like essential oils. Um, this particular one is a heady, so it actually helps with headache and it has flaxseed in it. So you can actually put in the microwave for 10 seconds and then just kind of like lay it on your head. And this one we're actually um, is part of the prizes from today. So I did the little paw print because of the rescue that Susie's um, attached to. And the very last thing that I just wanted to show you before the bonus round, um, if you are looking for a Mother's Day gift, like I said, we do have over 45 different tea blends. Um, we do have a sampler pack. So it does come in a bigger bag. And you can pick up to five different blends from the website. So they'll come like this and then we'll put it in there. And then this little logo, it could say Susie's birthday sampler pack. We could specialize it however you like, maybe a Mother's Day. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, it's available on the website. You could put the teas or you could just uh, reach out to us as well. And this is our information. So our um, Facebook, our Instagram, everything is at Get to Steeping. Um, we do free delivery within a 10 mile radius. Um, we'll meet up with you. Free shipping over 70 and we do um, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Pay, Zell, and Square. So thanks again. Amazing tea blends as always. I love how you're creative and how people can create their, their own and it's just great. And I really love the Santa and you guys doing that tea party thing for mom and me. Remember, it's not just your mom. If you're a mom, it could be a tea party with your daughter. It could be a tea party with your mother, your sister, your niece, uh, any female that's a mom. And fur moms count as well. Yes. So pretty much anybody, any female do a tea party. I think it's wonderful. It's a great idea. It creates great memories. And especially since you guys are doing this uh, virtually, you can, uh, you know, cherish this, cherish this for forever. So I love it. So thank you for oh, you guys oh, oh, Susie, hooking up. Thank you. Thank you, Susie. And thank you, Amy. I've got somebody special here with me. I've got Mrs. Claus and Elfie. Unmute yourself. I see her, I just don't hear her. I mean, I see her there, but I don't see her. Yeah, unmute yourself, Mrs. Claus. Okay, we'll have to come back to her and- Yeah, I think the microphone's not attached, but yes, Mrs. Claus is there, yay. And Elfie, can't wait. So we'll bring you back after the next round. Okay. So let's do our next giveaway. We were talking about what's happening next week. See, I'm moving to the side. We will be at GBR inside the Estancia Ballroom. And that is located next to the 215 garage. They, they have two garages, the Paseo Verde garage and the uh, 215 garage. Park in the 215 garage and then, um, oops, wait a minute. Yeah. Let me mute her now. <laughs> uh, park in a 215 garage. And then when you come out from the elevator, just turn right. And that's where the ballroom is. Stations is not doing temperature checks anymore. But we, as our event at the ballroom, we have to do temperature checks. So we'll just have a little thing that we put a point at your forehead and you're good to go. So that will be Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Super excited at GBR. So for your next giveaway, type in the feed. We will be at GBR on May. May 2nd. We will be at GVR on May 2nd. Type that in the feed and you will be entered to win and one time per person only. So let me take it now to Teresa. Welcome back. Hi, good morning. 
it's afternoon for East Coast people, but it's morning for us. And welcome to our PJ party. Any day I can justify keeping pajamas on <laughs> is a good day. <laughs> so mine says today's good mood is sponsored by coffee. I got to show you my coffee mug. <laughs> it's me. What can I say? Today I'm going to talk to you about two things. Normally I just, you know, put the nail strips on and show you. I'm going to do that on one nail just to show you how easy they are. But today we're going to talk about nail health and pedicures. Um, it's getting uh, summertime, flip-flop season. And if your toes look like you could swoop out of the sky and grab fish out of a lake, you don't want to wear sandals. So you want to nourish your toes. Um, keep your cuticles clean, go and get a petty manicure if you want to, or you can do it at home. There's um, a lot of things that you can get, but moisturizing is the key to having nice looking toes for summertime. And I cannot recommend enough Lucy's Shea Butter. This stuff is amazing. And you can just put it on your feet every night before you go to bed, put socks on if you want to, or just when you're kicking up watching TV, put it on let it soak in. And you can also use one of these little, um, it's like a file with a handle on it for your heels or the sides of your feet to get kind of dry and calloused. This is really good. This is part of my giveaway today, by the way, the, my manicure pedicure kit or set that I'm giving away today. And this is part of it. Oh, I guess I should tell you who I am. I didn't even think of that. I'm Teresa and I'm with Color Street Nail Strips, 100% pure nail polish that goes on dry. You can use them on your fingernails and your toenails. Um, we do make special sets just for toes and we have three new sets that just came out. But um, after I show you these, I'm gonna show you that you can use the regular sets for your nails, I mean, for your toenails. So you can have match, which is really cool. I just want to go through these real quick. These are some new colors that just came out. This is a shimmery pink. It's called Strawberry Sunrise. This is a, it's kind of, I call it like an icy mauve. It's kind of a sparkly, light purplish pink color. And it's called Moonburst. This is so popular. A lot of people are using these on their fingers too. One of my personal favorites, this one's called Evening Sky. On one hand, it looks blue, and in the sun, and turned a certain way, it's purple. It is very pretty, and it has got a shimmer to it. One of my favorites, it's called How Sweet It Is. This is the retired set, and I've only got one, and it's a sparkly glitter turquoise blue. This one's called Any Fin Goes, and it's like a mermaid set for your toes. This one is Baton Rouge. It's just a pure red. Everybody likes red toes. I also have some retired sets of Baton Rouge for the nails too, if you wanna be matchy. This is another purple, it's called Tropic Like It's Hot. It's uh, not as dark as the other one, and it's, uh, a solid, there's no shimmer to it, just glossy. This one is called Hello Sunshine State and it's just a solid yellow buttercup color. And this one's called Brazilian Air and it is a orange glitter, very pretty on the toes. And guys, these last forever on your toes. If you think they last a long time on your nails, which is two weeks, when you put these on your toes, you could keep them on for a month. It is not recommended to keep them on longer than three or four weeks on your toes because it does nail polish, any kind of nail polish, ours or regular liquid polish dries out your nails if you keep it on too long. So it's important to do pedicures at least once a month, moisturize, which you moisturize your cuticles on your toes every day um, and your heels. And we also can use a cuticle, a nice cuticle oil around your cuticles on your toes or on your fingers. Um, lots of different companies make cuticle oils. Essential oils are good. Um, 
Lucy's has some good essential oils as long as well as some others. So it's just really important. The nail part of your nail is dead. You can't moisturize the nail itself, but you can moisturize around it. And this area right here is what, where you should moisturize between your first knuckle and your cuticle is where you need to moisturize because that's where the nail is growing and you need to nourish the nail before it grows out. So I'm gonna show you this image real quick of how you can take a regular set and convert it for your toes. Here's a picture of the whole thing. That's a regular nail set on the toes. And this is how you can divide it up. You take the largest strip and cut it in half for your two big toes. And you take the little tiny smallest strip and cut it in thirds and use it for the rest of your toes. I don't know about you, but most people don't even use that smallest strip that comes in the package. It's just too narrow for most people, but it is perfect for toes. I'm gonna show you one more thing really quick. People ask me all the time, well, if these last so long, how do you take them off? I use Mineral Fusion Nail Polish Remover. It is non-acetone, so it's not as drying as other. So I put some in one of these little squirt bottles, so you just push down on it, or pump bottle. Put it on and use these little clippy things. And just let it sit for like, four or five minutes. Anybody who buys any sets, either order from my website, which I will show you in a minute, or with me personally this week will get, that include any pedicure sets, I will include five of these little flippy things for free. I'll just send them to you. They come in packs of 10, but you can't do all 10 fingers at the same time. How would you do it? You can't put one on while you got them on the other hand. So you only need five. And they also work on your toes. So let me show you my information real quick. I'll show you how to put the nail strip on just one finger when we come back. But here's my information. I don't wanna take up too much time. So make a screenshot. I have got a lot of inventory that I'm trying to get rid of at a reduced price. I'm not allowed to announce a sale price in a public forum, but if you message me, I have a special price just for LV Craft Shows. So just call me or text me or message me on Facebook and I'll show you my special price. And that's all I got for now. Oh wait, I wanna show you this real quick. After you soak, I didn't soak it long enough. I'm not gonna sit here and make you wait five minutes, but it comes off really easy. That's all I got. Well, great tips on how to take care of your uh, nails and nail beds and all that. That is good to know. We, we all need to do a better job. Didn't know that you're not supposed to keep nail polish on for too long on your toes. So that was good, good uh, advice and good to know. Um, and Teresa always has great deals. So by all means, um, watch her virtuals, check out her group, her VIP group and her site and all. And most of all, she will, she will be at a Green Valley Ranch this weekend on Sunday. Speaking of Green Valley Ranch, what I didn't mention yet is this time we will have such a versatile group of um, presenters, uh, of vendors with their crafts and gifts and whatnot. It's something we haven't had to date, literally. Um, I mean, you, you will you won't find really anything similar. Similar, it's really really unique, a really really great variety. You do want to be at that show, so please let your friends and family know as well, and let's support these guys. Um, they're super excited. They have been waiting for that May show, actually longer than for the March show because we booked the May show before we even booked the March March show. So that will be this Sunday. May 2nd, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Free admission, but we do ask please that you go online either on our event page or on lbcraftshows.com and register for your free tickets. Let's do another giveaway before we welcome back uh, one of our special guests. 
remember, if you if we hit 50 likes, there will be a special giveaway for that. We are a little bit more than halfway there. So keep liking, keep finding people to like, invite them, tag them, all that good stuff. And we already posted three other giveaway. Our next giveaway will say, I love chocolate. Simple as that. You just type in, I love chocolate. And that will enter you to win. You'll find out what you'll win later. Um, Mrs. Claus, are you there? I am. Can you hear me this time? We can hear I you. I got the elves to work on the sound. I'm sorry, I screwed up. Oh, was it your fault? Sorry. Well, that is awesome that you're there. And I know you are part of that tea party that Santa and Amy were talking about, correct? Oh, absolutely. And we are so excited. And we are so thankful to Amy for creating such wonderful, delicious teas. And the honey sticks make it special, absolutely special. And we're going to have songs and stories and lots and lots and lots of fun. So come on, join in. And you remember, you have to book early so you can get the teas made to you, mailed to you. Oh, I love it. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Claus. And here you go. You can see our site. It's Mother's Day Tea, Mommy and Me Tea Party. It's a virtual tea party. You go to santa01.com and you can go ahead and book your tea party under virtual visits. The first one, Mother's Day Tea, and you can book your visit with Mrs. Claus and Elfie. Ho, ho, ho. That's me. That's me. I'm Elfie. <laughs> Susie, we are so glad that you invited us today. And we're sorry that that the Northern Lights were creating some problems with our sound and technical difficulties earlier. You know, silly Northern Lights. <laughs> I don't think it was the Northern Lights. I think it's that um, silly wind we have here. We have really big wind gusts oh. here. I think that's what took away the sound. <laughs> I, think, I think it blew it away. Absolutely. All right. Well, we'll hear more from you probably a bit, a little bit later in the show. So great job. Great to have you here. Super excited. So yes. And by the way, in case you're just joining us, we already had some of our presenters um, show off their amazing creations. We have a lot of giveaways. You can enter until Tuesday, 4 p.m. to um, get those giveaways. So, um, or to like it, to hit that 50 likes. And um, so you can watch the replay in case you missed what the first presentation in the first giveaway uh, um, things were. And yes, one of them will be the Mommy and Me Tea Party. So you can win that by entering what I mentioned earlier to enter. I think it was, I'd love to do a tea party with Santa. So um, keep paying attention. There is more to come, but let's take it to Mikey first. Hopefully he woke up. I see him sitting in his chair and his PJs. Mikey, you're there? Their wind took the sound. Oh. Mikey! <laughs> Mikey, wake up! <laughs> Potot, are you with us? Oh, even Potot's scared. Oh, poor baby. Mikey, are Hi, you here? It's Mike. And there Cheryl. Someone hit the snooze button today. It's Hi, Mike everybody. and Cheryl with Hendrick Studios. How's everybody doing? Thanks for being here. Thanks for tolerating my nonsense. Because he's full of nonsense, let me tell you. <clears throat> let me get put our sign up. Please take a picture of our sign. This is a new one. Yeah, I know. It's not our special sign, but it's got new information on it. We have HendrickStudios.com, and we have Hendrick-Studios.Shopify.com for our new store. Um, so please go check us out there. And uh, again, please take a screenshot of this. Michael, we keep right on the screen? No, I hit the wrong button. Okay, good. Okay. Find me. Over the Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Like that, and then yeah, lower that. Okay. Hold so on, hold on. We're going to be hold showing on, some on. little figures run, again run, today. Run, run, run. Slowly. That's it perfect. It's great. There you go. All right, we have some new little figures. We'll be bringing polymer clay figures and holiday ornaments and glass and glass jewelry to 
Green Valley next week. Be sure and show up. Don't miss it. It'll be the place to be. We're going to be there. Potok can't come, though, so we'll, we'll have a photo you can visit with them. That's, that's right. It. Okay. Number one here is Pat. Actually, he's number 19. Uh, we're a little out of order, but it's okay. He's got a little patch on his hat. Little cute bug. Nice little Christmas colors because we are full up for the holidays. Full bore into the holidays. Because Christmas in July is coming, and I hear there's a show at Mount Charleston this year. Oh. Okay. Number 20. This is Sonny. He's a happy for guy. For obvious reasons. Yeah. He's a happy guy. <laughs> Sonny has highlights of silver on his little beard. Good. I don't know if you can see that. I can't see the camera there. There you go. Little highlight. Oh, yeah. You can. See how it sparkles? Yeah. That's sure the silver. Awesome. Very cool. But he so is number 20, and he is $18. Let me spin him around. He's about, oh, two inches tall and about probably close to two inches this way. He's a nice little guy. All right. Next, we have Law. 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 Please don't encourage them to singing, people. Please. It's the Boo Brothers. <laughs> Number twenty-one. You get the set of three for fifteen. Normally, they're six dollars each. No, we do a little overblown. If you shut the window. I can shut the window. Yeah, if you shut the window. I think we're a little overblown here and. Let's see, that looks a lot better. Well, on white is definitely a blue. There you go. That's cool. Let's spin these guys around. Uh, you. There we go. Still yeah. bright. Well. All right. Number. Looking back for just a second because they were blown out. You couldn't see their little faces. See how bright they are? These guys have little pink cheeks. You couldn't see them in the lighting. I have a lot of lights on today. Mm -hmm. So we apologize. No, oh, you can't see. Oh, there you can. A little blush on their cheeks. Yeah, we can see that. There we go. Bright. There we go. All right. Next is number 22. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate it. You're welcome. This is Leon. Leon's, uh, he, he's, he's got some warts. He's a warty little guy with a big pointy nose. He's a little worried, so. Yes, he looks a little nervy. You know, the holidays are coming and he don't want to be turned into a jack-o'-lantern. His name's Leon, not Jack. Not Jack. So that's why he's showing his son. He's number 22, he's $10. All right, as I said, we are full bore into the holiday. So <laughs> it is Nordic Santa, number 23. He is $25. He has a good bit of work in him. He's a really long hat. I'm going to bring him up here a little closer so you can see. Oh, that's much better. You see the detail. Do I need to draw the camera down on? Put, put your bowl down. I don't think you can. No, that's fine. Don't worry. Okay. But he, his little curly hat. So cute. Cheryl puts a lot of time and detail into these. And I think it shows. All right. Number 24. It is Squee the Mouse with his Swiss cheese and his little Christmas hat. Well, it's kind of warm to yellow cheese. So I don't know. Swiss cheese is white to me, but I could be wrong. I it is holy. <laughs> it is holy. It's a holy cheese. There we go. And it, it's not religious. Yeah. <laughs> Bring those losers so you can see some details. Yeah. He's about two and a half inches big, maybe an inch and a quarter wide. So he's kind of small. All right. Next, number 25, another Santa. Yay. Like I said, we are full bore into the holidays. Christmas in July will be here in no time. And then there's no looking back. Number 25, he is $30. Let me bring him in a little closer. And he can hold something. Um, right now, I have 
I'm partial present. present, but I haven't known. He doesn't fit quite right, so I need to make a different one. But he's going to come with something in there, but this one didn't work out because it's too big. He'll have an accessory. He will have an accessory. Let's spin him around. Do, 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 do. He's so cute. Oh, sorry. Da, da, da. All right. Da, da. And then the last one is oh, this another right. guy. I'm going to show a couple more. So oh, okay. we have a for the football fans. It's Bill. And y'all know in why. those certain <laughs> colors. Because we can't do trademarks or anything like that. But we don't want to mess the copyright law. That's now. right. But if you had a decal, you could stick on them, that'd be okay. Little Bill here with his football ready for the season. And we can do those in any team color you want. Yeah. It just happened to be the first one she did. Case I had the orange package of glue. <laughs> okay, I won't lie. <laughs> Throw the tilted back. Okay. Okay, everyone. You took yeah, to the side because there was no way. I lost it. All right. Well, Cheryl's just looking for the sign here. We are good for now. Thank you very much. We appreciate you watching today. And again, please check out our new Shopify store. It doesn't have anything but baby gnomes in it right now, but I'm working really hard on it before the show. We got a really cute figure for the surprise round, so stay tuned. And we will see everybody at GVR because everybody's going to GVR, right? Thanks. See ya. Bye. Bye. Uh, it was Swiss cheese. It was definitely Swiss cheese. I already sent a picture of it to my friend who is Swiss to verify it. So love that gnome with the Swiss cheese. Totally cute. You guys. Thank you. Thank you. You guys always come up with Thank new stuff. It is, it is amazing. I, I just love it. And I'm so excited that you will be it up. GBR this week. Uh, on Sunday. And thank you for mentioning our Mount Charleston show. Yes, LV Craft Shows will do Christmas in July on Sunday, July 25th. Look at that date, 725, July 25th, Christmas in July date with Santa. So we will be up at the retreat. We will do indoors and outdoors. Um, it is on the portal. We're not as, uh, um, you can select the event for now and we'll take care of the rest after the May show. But yes, we will do Christmas in July with Santa at the retreat on the Char Charleston Peak on Cal Canyon Road. It's um, really not that far to drive up there. It's beautiful. The temperature will be perfect because uh, here it's going to be 110 and there it's going to be in the maybe low 80s. And uh, we're super excited. And the scenery, oh my gosh, it's just, you know, I'm fortunate to live only 20 to 25 minutes away from there. So I'll be going up there yeah, to prepare all that. All right. Let's move on to our next presenter, and that will be Sue Ann. And yes, this is our PJ party. In case you wondered about our PJ attires, that's why, because it's our PJ party. I'm wearing my little PJ set here, and you saw Mike half asleep. By the way, Mike, I meant to tell you, they had the Pirate Fest last week. When you woke up, you looked like you were there, maybe possibly still sleeping it off from being there partying too hard at the Pirate Fest. I loved it, though. <laughs> All right, Sue Ann, come on in. Unmute yourself, Sue Ann. That way. Hi there. There, you <laughs> there we go. Hi, here's my info. My name is Sue Ann Sanders. I'm with Creative Chocolate Designs. Here's all my information. So I create beautiful chocolate um, gifts and lollipops. Um, I use only the highest quality chocolate and I buy it fresh consistently so it's not like you're buying something with chocolate that's been sitting around for uh, several months I like to keep my supply fresh I will be a GVR next Sunday and I will have many items with Mother's Day coming up of course chocolate is one of mother's favorites I have a lot of items to show you, which I'm gonna start. Um, I have several price ranges from anywhere from lollipops from $1.50. 
I'm also gonna be doing gift baskets up to about $50. I'm gonna show you the items and then later on, I will be posting them on Facebook with prices and on my website. So I'm gonna start with some of the lollipops. So here's one that I created. It's hard to see, but it says grandmothers are special. It's a lollipop. This is what it looks like. And then of course, all my lollipops are put into a cellophane bag and then ribbon. And I'll be using all spring colors and making them really beautiful. I also have a heart that says Happy Mother's Day. I've got, this is a number one with mom in the middle, number one mom. And I'm also going to be creating long stem chocolate roses. Now I will be selling the roses individually, but I will also be making up gift items, six of them in a vase. Um, and I have a couple of different containers, so I will be making up some really nice gift items. And again, in several price ranges. The other thing I will be showing is my chocolate covered pretzels. I sell them in individual. I have two packs and I also make them up in six packs. And again, I will be taking some of the pretzels and I bought these really cute tins. And so I can put them into a tin and then this makes a really great Mother's Day gift. That's one of the tins I got with the butterflies. And then I have several with flowers on them, all beautiful springy. I'm also going to be selling some of the hearts. Now I made these some for Valentine's and I'm making some for Mother's Day because nothing says I love you to a mom more than a heart. So I'm gonna have a small size and then I have some big sizes. I also have this bar, which is hard to see, it's in cellophane, but it says, Happy Mother's Day. I'm gonna try to take it out so you can see it better. It says, Happy Mother's Day, and it's a small little bar. And again, you can buy one and stick it in with a gift maybe you've already gotten, or we can do a mixture of different things and put them together so that you can give them a gift with some variety. I also have some chocolate hearts. This entire heart is made out of chocolate. It's a box. And when you open it up inside, it has M&Ms or mint lentils, different items inside. Those are some of the small stuff. Then I also have, I'm gonna be making chocolate roses and I have these beautiful little pots ceramic pots. So I will be making sunflowers to put in the sunflower pot. It comes with six, six chocolates and also with roses. I'll be making a lot of those. I also have mugs that say world's greatest mom with butterflies and I will be filling them with chocolate. I also have some wine glasses. Nothing goes better than wine and chocolate. This one says world's greatest mom. This one says mom off duty. And again, it's filled with chocolate. The nice thing about these gift items is that once the chocolate's eaten, they still have something left of, of you know, the holiday to remind them of that it was Mother's Day. I also then have some of my bigger pieces. So I'm going to be doing this is chocolate rosebuds with square hearts. It's a square piece with a heart on it. I have that and it comes in this gold box with the loop on it. I also have gonna be making some, which is a dozen rosebuds. Then I'm going to be also having the shopper's kit which is all chocolate. It comes in the box with the loop. I also have, <laughs> this is a, uh, a breakaway bar. I'll take the cover off. Uh, can't take the cover. It's a breakaway bar and it says, I love you with hearts on it. So each, it's an individual piece so they can break a piece off at a time. 
And one of my favorite ones is I'm also gonna have, it says mom, M-O-M, -M, comes in a gold box. And in the middle of the O is a little sugar flower. So I'm going to have those and to that. And I'm also going to have one of Susie's favorites, chocolate covered Oreos. So for each occasion, I usually do Christmas. I did Christmas um, lay-ons for Valentine's. I did hearts and for Mother's Day, I'm making the Oreos and they have little sugar hearts in the middle. I'm also going to be doing some with the sprinkles that I use on the pretzel rods. So I have that. Then I'm also going to be having some gift baskets. This one is a, a spring little box and inside it has caramel corn cookies, cheese and a smoked Gouda, two packs of uh, gourmet hot chocolate and a little snack pack with raisins and nuts and stuff. So I will be making up these. Um, I'm also going to be doing some bigger gift baskets and the prices will vary. I will have something um, in, a, in different price ranges and most of my baskets are all eclectic. So certain things I make the same, I buy the same containers and make several of. Other ones like the baskets, I like to use different baskets and different containers and it almost makes it like a boutique chocolate. So you buy something that's different that is not just the same. Some of the baskets, the more expensive ones, I'll also be including, it's a chocolate candle. These candles are made by Simply Pleasing um, Company, which is one of the other vendors and I purchased from her and she makes me up special scents. So this one is chocolate cherries. And then I have one that's chocolate hazelnut. And I wish you could smell them through the computer, but they smell absolutely delicious. So those are some of the items of, 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 that I'm gonna be selling. They come in milk, white or dark. Now I will have a variety at the show next week at GVR, however, if you want something specific, like if you want the Oreos in dark with sprinkles or dark, you know, or white with sprinkles, um, you can contact me before next week, um, or you can come see it. And then Mother's Day is until the following Sunday. So if you come and see something and I don't have exactly what you want or what type of chocolate you want, I still have a week where I can make it up for you and customize it for what you want. Um, I do take credit cards, Zelle, Cash App, uh, Venmo, and um, I will do delivery free within 10 miles. If you live 10 miles from where I'm at, which is zip code 89107, there would be just a small surcharge just to cover the gas. So again, here's my information, creative chocolate designs, you can reach me through the website. You can uh, email me. You can call me. And I look forward to seeing you next Sunday at GVR. I can't wait. And I do need my chocolate fix. The white chocolate is just the best. Um, I actually converted Jeff into a white chocolate uh, man. So, um, and he has been asking, but then, then he stopped asking because... Um, you know, we both kind of watch what we're eating, but it's so delicious. And it's, I know Sunday, I'm going to get my chocolate fix. You have to have your chocolate. Yep, absolutely. And she's right. Those Oreos are really good. And she did actually make me some white chocolate covered Oreos. And I don't even like Oreos. And because of Sue Ann, I started loving Oreos, but only if they're covered with her chocolate. And I don't know if you guys saw those little teapot lollipops that she made for Amy. They are too cute. So great job. Can't wait. See you um, Sunday. Uh, Mrs. Claus, I see you waving your hand. That's right. We find that chocolate is just a great gift any day of the year, but especially for Mother's Day. Yes, it is. And they sound so delicious and they're beautiful too. 
They are. She makes some great designs. And I'm actually glad that you part that Sue Ann partnered up with uh, Michaela from the Simply Pleasing Candle Company. And uh, Michaela will be at the show as well on, sun on Sunday. So you guys can smell her candles right there. And that chocolate candle does smell really good. So yeah, we're having a PJ no. party. Some no. of you are drinking coffee. Some of us are drinking tea. And some of us are, might be eating chocolate with that. That is just perfect. It's the perfect perfect morning and uh, to spend with LV craft shows now all you guys need to do is pay attention to enter for all those giveaways like like and like and keep liking we're not we are halfway more than halfway there but we're not at the 50 yet if we don't hit 50 li likes we will move that giveaway to another show but um just just like get those people over and have them watch and say hey be sure to like you have till tuesday at 4 p.m. Uh, yes, Santa, did you want to say something? I thought I was also going to say, just as, as, as you said, you know, not only is it good to have tea with your chocolate or your chocolate with your tea, but it's also good to have a chocolate candle with your tea to have your chocolate so that when you're sitting there tasting your tea and your chocolate, and your chocolate candle you're smelling, that way you're smelling this tea and eating it and drinking it and still staying healthy. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, that was cool. That was totally cool. All right, you guys, it's time to go into our second round. Everybody will come back and show a surprise item that they haven't shown yet. And you will get to see all the giveaways. Well, all but one because I don't have that one giveaway here in person. Um, but uh, we, we posted a picture under the under the today's giveaway post. So um, let's kick it off with well, with Santa. Did you want to add something to this? By all means, you know, Mrs. Claus and I are are always staying healthy at the North Pole, especially having our chocolate tea with our. Mrs. Claus tea and Elfie tea, and then smelling the candle. I won't go down that road again. But Mrs. Claus, why don't you take it over and explain how we're going to have Mother's Day teas every Saturday and Sunday until and after Mother's Day. And it doesn't have to be a mother. It could be your aunt. It could be your grandmother. Go on and explain that, Mrs. Claus. It could be an, a cousin. It could be a really good friend that you've adopted as your daughter or mother. It could be someone you've met. It could be lots, of, and you know, it could be, it doesn't have to be a daughter. It could be a son. So we are not exclusive that way. We like to include anybody who would like to participate. Yes. And do you like my jammies? They're rainbow, they're the reindeer hoof print made by the baby reindeer, and they look just like hearts. So we are so excited because we're going to have songs and stories and delicious tea that Amy has made especially for us and me too. And we have honey sticks as well that make them sweet and delicious. And honey is so much more nutritious than sugar. Yes, it is. And it just does good things for your body and makes you happy because it's so yummy, yummy, yummy. And we thank Amy again for brewing us our very special teas. Yes, that's true. We do thank Amy and, and her group for doing those teas for us. And we look forward to doing more with her in different, in different events. But as you can see on the screen, it's our Mother's Day tea, Mommy and Me Tea Party. There's our phone number. And you go to santa01.com, click on virtual visits, and you'll be able to go in and book your virtual visit with Mrs. Claus and Elfie all times till, till Mother's Day and even after if you need to. So, ho, ho, ho. I love it. It's great. I'm so excited you guys do that. And yes, honey and tea is actually very good because honey has a lot of great nutrients. In addition, for those of you that are suffering with allergies or if you get a sore throat easily and stuff, honey is very soothing. So if you put honey in the tea, it's actually an excellent way to help you soothe, soothe your throat and so much nicer than gargling with salt water. So, um, 
check it out i hope you guys can do it the tea party i think it's a wonderful idea and um i hope you guys are gonna after the one of them that you're doing maybe you can put a couple of sample clips together and send us a link so we can share it a little bit so people see what fun they're missing (laughs) how is that food for thought that's a great idea susie thank you so welcome all right let's move on so one announcement i want to make besides the fact that we will be at the unique craft boutique sunday may 2nd from 10 a.m to 5 p.m inside the estancia ballroom please wear your mask over mouth uh, and nose and register online in order to for your free tickets it's free admission we just need to make sure we register everybody um, to be on the safe side so, so, since um, the capacity limits are still applying as of uh, current so uh, in addition we are planning a, a new event we added um which is at the Parkway Tavern on um, May, I was going to say March, on May 29th. That is Memorial Day, Memorial Day weekend. We are aware of that. We always have an event that weekend. It's actually in Henderson on the Marks location outside in the parking lot. It's going to be a really fun event. So we would like for you guys to invite you to come by. And at this point, we're featuring all, um, the majority of our VIPs. So that will be on May 29th. And we're going to do it from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. outdoors in the parking lot. It's in Henderson on Mark Street. And then on June 11th to the 13th, our big craft and uh, spring craft spectacular at the expo. I don't know if you saw the news the other day, they showed some pictures of the expo. They showed the ribbon cutting because they just opened. They had a a buyer show there um, last week. It is amazing. It's a hundred thousand square foot hall. It's, it's, it's super amazing. We're going to share it. We do half um, home improvement and backyard expo. And then the other half is the spring craft spectacular with just handcrafted uh, items. Yes, you might find Sensi or Color Street, but not on a craft site. They will be on the home site. So um, it, we're super excited. Due to the new regulations, we are able to add more vendors. So please feel free and contact us at lvcraftshows.com under vendor information or contact us directly via messenger if you're doing any vintage in particular or crafts or cottage foods we would love to have you it's gonna be a great great show we're doing a lot of advertisement for it and people are excited and this will be june 11th to the 13th that show will usually be on the second weekend in march going forward but because of the pandemic we had to move it to june but for the next five years after that it will be the second uh, and possibly beyond it will be the second weekend in march so I hope you remember what I just told you. That will come handy in a little bit. Kevin, come on back. But I don't want to come back. I want to go to sleep. I'm in my pajamas. Anyway, I'm Kevin from Lucy's. And here's my information once again. We take all forms of payment on the website. We can also send you an invoice through Square. We do uh, contactless deliveries with anything over a $20 purchase free of charge. Next, I'm going to show you our giveaway. This is our foamy bath salts. We have like 15 different varieties, and you can choose any one of them off our website. And you can pick it up at the show. We'll be at GBR on the second. Now, I have nothing special to show you except, and I want you to look at this picture really well. This is Lucy. And if you come to our booth at GBR on the second, and you say, hey, you got your business name from your dog, Lucy. We will give you a free gift, one of Lucy's products. So remember that face. That's Lucy. Thanks, Lucy. She is so, so adorable. Really good. And thank you for donating the gift. And um, you guys, did you pay attention to some of the things we did earlier? If not, you can watch the replay. So we, you will be entered to win one of Lucy's gifts too. All right, let's move on to Amy. Uh, hi, um, I just wanted to, we were talking about different collaborations. So if you missed earlier, um, this is what the will actually be sent as part of the tea party with Santa. I have a cute little, I think my dogs want to say hi to everyone too. Jackson and I think the puppy. Um, but this is the elf tea and the Mrs. Claus tea. And then uh, you will get the honey sticks as well. 
Um, in addition, I do have a tea and crystals class uh, with Erica Mayer of uh, Lapidary Heaven. Um, it is Saturday at 1030. We moved it to the morning because we had people that uh, were from the East Coast and so forth that wanted to um, have it a little bit earlier. Uh, this class is actually going to focus on energy. So for the teas, we'll be doing the energy tea and the um, one with caffeine and one without caffeine. And then we'll be doing um, these crystals as well. So you do get the tumbles, you get the tea, and we send that ahead of time. So, and then Susie was just mentioning, I do work with Sue Ann a lot. I love these. I put these in the little Mother's Day baskets. I'm doing these a little teapot that I have. So again, we are get to steeping. Everything is on the Instagram, Facebook, everything is under the get to steeping. We do local delivery. We have online as well and hope to be part of the Christmas in July. So cross my fingers, hope to see you there. I already told you that you will be part of it. No worries. Um, hey, I didn't know if it was a secret. Or not. <laughs> we just put that on the portal and so we're still early on and actually we will be able to accommodate quite a few windows there so you'll be just fine and okay. I love it and this is also what I love about what LV Craft just did with these virtual events we started them because of the closure the pandemic you all know it so to to get the vendors out there and still be able to show up their products and for the shoppers to still be able to shop and not only have we accomplished that and for some some did better than others but we have had some that had some great success from that and uh i really loved it i mean even afterwards months later people would call them and say hey i need this i need that we did a lot of referrals and you guys did a lot of collaborations we built a lot of friendships friendships we got to know a lot of vendors and their details and them and what they do and stuff so um i you know in our case, we made something good out of this COVID thing and the pandemic and all. And um, yes, we uh, a lot of us had a lot of losses and were sick, had it or, or not and all. It was a difficult time. We could totally get it. But we tried to make the uh, lemonade out of lemons and we did. Um, it, it really... I got to know a lot of the vendors and vendors got to know of the vendors and it has really created a lot of great partnerships like Amy and Erica who do the, the tea and crystal thing, uh, Santa and, and Amy who do the um, tea party. Um, you know, Sue Ann is including a bunch of vendors in her gift, gift baskets and stuff. So everybody is supporting everybody. And that is just thanks to the virtual shows that we did. So thank you for all who took part of it in the past and in, 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 in the present. And we have more coming up tomorrow. We have a, a special day tomorrow, Monday, 6.30. It's this and that. So you'll see what that means. Um, we have some vendors there all the way from Florida as well. So um, tune in and then um, Sunday GBR and then we continue the virtual events uh, a little bit later in May so if you want to be a presenter at that go to lvcraftshows.com on the virtual vendor application if you want to be a vendor at our upcoming events go to lvcraftshows.com on the vendor information and let's take me take it over to Teresa and see what she has to show us hello glad to be back so Real quick, I'm going to show you how to put on a nail strip, how easy it is. Um, I also posted in the feed um, the link to my VIP group where I have specials and other videos that you can watch and tips and tricks and all kinds of fun stuff, games and prizes. So here's a nail strip. They come, they come in a package like this. 16 strips, eight different sizes. In the image that I'll post an image later, I showed it to you for the Manny Petty. This is the one we use for the big toe and this little tiny skinny one. If you can see how narrow that is, it doesn't work for anything unless you have really tiny fingers. <laughs> okay, Susie uses the little tiny one. All right, I stand corrected. <laughs> so you find the one that fits the best. This is the strip, you separate it just peel back this little clear plastic covering a little tip have a lint brush close by and stick this on a lint brush or lint roller because these little things are staticky and they get everywhere my husband it drives my husband crazy 
because he'll find them, especially in my office, bees all over the floor. And I apologize again to Susie. <laughs> they were all over the, my booth at the last show at Green Valley Ranch. So they will not be there this time, I promise. But a lint brush, I'm going to bring the lint roller to the show. Anyway, after you tear that off, you separate it with this little silver tab. Whoop, whoop. See the little silver tab? Okay. And all you do is peel it off. And you'll notice it's just a little bit tacky on the back. There's no adhesive on it. It's just nail polish, but it's just a little bit tacky. And you line it up. I'm going to just show you. You line it up just above your cuticle, just like that. You don't want it overlapping your skin, just above the cuticle, and smooth it down. Use your thumb to tear it off. Use your thumb to get off any excess, and it's done. That quick, totally dry. You can pet the dog, pet the cat, diaper the baby, go to bed. Best time to put them on is right before you go to bed so they can cure. Don't um, use lotion or wash your hands or wash the dishes for at least 30 minutes. So here's my information again. Make a screenshot. My giveaway for this event is five free nail polish remover clips with any buy three, get one purchase that includes a pedicure set. And there are these little nail clips that you put on to help remove your polish. Thanks, Susie, and I'm looking forward to uh, the show on Sunday. Can't wait, can't wait. And you know, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure at the home show in <laughs> June, they probably have that one vendor that has those uh, rollable, um, um, they're like rolls that are sticky or something. Yeah, and they would work well for your for your nail plastic thing, um, cellophane, whatever it's called, uh, problem. So keep that in mind. If you have a minute to check out the home show on June 11th to the 13th, I'm sure that vendor is there that has to, it's like the roller thing. It has like a roll thing. You don't have to wash it, but you just can clean up stuff and it will just stick to it. And then you just throw it off, throw it away. <laughs> All right, having said that, let's move on to our next presenter. Oh, we have another giveaway to do though. I'll do that after the next one. All right, Cheryl and Mikey, come on back. Hello, everybody. I'm awake today. Hello. I swear. Nah, he's a liar. And of course, <laughs> little Potot. Potot's very cranky and sleepy. He doesn't like to, oops, sorry. He hasn't gotten his 18 hours of beauty sleep. And he is very cranky, so. I'm going to go ahead and show the info. Here's our sign. Don't forget, new Shopify store and the website, HendrickStudios.com. Super awesome. Stuff's getting uploaded. Slowly but surely. We will be at the Green Valley Show on May the 2nd. We'll be bringing polymer clay holiday figures, holiday ornaments, and that's Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas, and of course, our glass jewelry and other glass items. So real quick, we're gonna do a little camera drop. Say let, me move, let me move the little bug, he's when? so tired. When? Let's see, totally okay. All right, this is our surprise. Oh, Sorry. This is Chester. He's number 27 and he's $30. We call him Cheeky Chester because he got caught eating some watermelon. And that's why he's got that little cheeky expression on his face. And he has a little um, teeny little ladybug he comes with. It comes with a little ladybug. And, and a little teeny birdhouse. His cute little house. And you can position these. You could glue him on here somewhere if you want him crawling on you if you wanted or something. Anyway, that's Cheeky Chester. Notice he is not holiday themed. So we have all kinds of stuff. So we have to go ahead and raise the camera back up. Okie dokie. And... Oh, it doesn't want to rise. Hold on. Ooh, hold on. There we go. Yes, you can have your sign back. Let me stabilize this. You can't have me do everything. All one time anyway. I don't mind doing it. Thank you. Can't okay, here's time. my sign one more time. <laughs> Thanks so much. We have a couple technical issues today. Sorry, it's PJ Day. That's right. I'm all confused. <laughs> I'm sleep deprived. 
I haven't had my worship of the being yet. <laughs> All right, everybody. Take care. Be safe. And we hope to see you next weekend. Bye. Bye. See you at the TBR. Sure, blame the PJ party on you not functioning <laughs> yet. I see. It. No, I actually liked it that you had a little uh, um, difficulties because I ended up taking an adorable picture of. I don't know if you guys caught that, and I don't know if you can see it now. But see, see ah. that. I just had to. I will post it later. Too cute. Too super cute. And I love the melon, watermelon thing. I love watermelon. So that is, I saw the water. I saw all I saw is, oh, it has a watermelon. How cute. Uh, 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 me. You guys. Oh, it's very sad. He won't be at the show. So he will have a giveaway. So we'll have a show, a giveaway at the show. At the Green Coast Valley Coast. Show. All right. See? There's another reason for you to come on out. All right, thanks you guys. All right, speaking of giveaways, so we have another giveaway. I don't think we made the likes yet, but you have till Tuesday 4 p.m. to um, find more people, tag them, tag, 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 tell them to like us too. And that way we can do that. Um, that is a beautiful picture. That's what the giveaway is. If not, we will use it for something else. So not a problem at all. Before we bring Sue Ann back with her delicious chocolate, here is your next giveaway thing. Can uh, to type in, can't wait for June 11 to 13 at the Expo at World Market Center. I know that's a handful. Can't wait for June 11 to 13 at the Expo at World Market Center. Oh, I saw what Sue Ann that did. She just, she just told her phone to, to type that in. There you go. That's one way to do it. Type that in and that will be your next giveaway thing. Great idea. Sue Ann, now unmute yourself and talk to us. Hi, yeah, that's what I do. I talk into it, but sometimes it picks up from the computer from someone else talking and it, you'll see some weird stuff. <laughs> anyway, I'm back again. Again, Sue Ann Sanders, Creative Chocolate Designs. Here's all my information and I will post it on Facebook. So my little surprise that I didn't talk about earlier is we talked about my Oreo cookies and how everyone loves them. So I did this for Valentine's and it was one of my big sellers. I bought these little treat boxes and it filled it with three Oreo cookies. And people were buying them because it had gave them a chance to taste them. And some of them that tasted them actually contacted me to order more of them. So I will be having these also at the GVR show next week, these little boxes with, with the cookies. My giveaway for today is this beautiful shopper's kit. Comes with a purse, a little shopping bag, a credit card, a little box with a bow and two little high heels. So that's what I will be giving away. Uh, once you pick a winner and they contact me, I can give it to them either in milk, white or dark, whatever they prefer. Um, the one last thing that I wanted to mention is next week at GVR, um, as you know, I don't just do the holidays and the craft shows. I create chocolate for all kinds of events like weddings, baby showers, um, bridal showers, any anniversaries, birthdays. Um, I did the Holy Communion for Amy, um, for her niece and nephews. Um, so I'm going to be making a gift basket for Mother's Day. And I'm going to have a little sign in thing with just the name, phone number and email and drop it in a box. And then at the end of the show, I will pick a name and I will give away the gift basket to them. I love that. I totally love that. That is a great idea. And yes, you can do chocolate for any occasion. Sue Ann also makes chocolate business cards. So um, all kinds of stuff, you name it, Father's Day, Mother's Day, graduation is coming, you guys. These kids are still graduating. Um, so um, yes, wonderful. And I'm so excited that you will be at the show. And for those of you that were on today with the giveaways and are at the show, you guys can actually pick up your winnings at the show on Sunday because we will announce the winner most likely Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. Good. Well, with that said, I think we posted all, we mentioned all the uh, giveaways and you have till Tuesday. So I'm going to bring everybody back. You have till Tuesday, 4 p.m. to enter. 
So you're all on the screen now. By the way, your dogs are totally welcome. I don't know if you saw Amy on the news. They were featuring this one kid that was kind of imitating her mom on the computer, on the phone, and then snapping and, you know, be quiet over there. And when you were turning around, that reminded me of that kid. It was hilarious. But, you know, we love dogs. Dogs are always, always welcome. Anyway, um, this was fun. So here we are in our PJs. Um, I have my teas already done, but I have my water here. Um, at least so I say. And um, so go have your coffees or your wines or whatever. I think, you know, since it's so windy and I can't do the bike ride, I might just skip the exercise tonight. I did go for a dog walk this morning and I'm going to do another one later. Anyway, we hope to see you tomorrow night at 6.30 for another edition of our live virtual event series. It's this and that, and it will be fun. There will also be some giveaways. For today's giveaways, you have until Tuesday, 4 p.m. to enter, so watch the replay. Also, if Cheryl and Mikey post their YouTube link on the uh, page, maybe you guys could click on that and subscribe to their channel so that they don't have to have this long link, but that it actually could say, youtube.com slash Hendrick Studios or whatever they wanted to say, but they need to have a certain um, a number of subscribers on there. So why don't you do them the favor and support them with that? It's all it does. It's, it's not going to overflow anything, but just join their thing, subscribe to their thing. Lorraine, thank you for, for helping with the shares and everything. And Santa and Mrs. Claus and Elfie, always a pleasure to have you guys. We're excited about Sunday, GBR. We hope to see you there. It's a beautiful venue. If you missed it last time, we have had nothing but great reviews on it. So we hope you can experience it. And if you were there, please come back because we have a lot of different vendors there. And those that were there last time, they promised to bring a lot of new things. So you don't want to miss it. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. My name is Susie. This was our PJ party and we hope you had fun. Post your pictures of you watching us in your PJs and we will enter you to win a prize. Have a wonderful Sunday. Bye.